crazy to me because I feel like this kid should be absolutely PR'd out of his mind by now. Yeah, I mean, it's just going to be probably the uh, frequency of attendance for Juice that he's playing against. Young man's favor going to be, like you said, many, many top results coming out from mm, this kid. Sick though. Rap. Doing some amazing sets against MVD, some crazy sets against Sonics, and now has opportunity here against Grandmaster to put another great in the belt. Yeah, that would be an absolute badge on Ash's sash. Nice grab there again. Juice playing very like slower than we usually see him play, and I know it's because he can't just start to mash on Grandmaster. Ooh, back air. Oh, wow. Amazing command grab there. The bite doing work. Eat it. Yeah, no, no ledge control, though. That's one of the things that, uh, you know, top players have said about Grandmaster. It's so hard to fight him at the ledge once you get him there. But once he gets you there, and look at it. He's just checkmating at every line. It's just annoying is what it is. Not that the person is, it's just really annoying to face. Yeah, it's just that, uh, that pro level of annoying. Yeah, just enough to be... I don't know if Juice is doing that on purpose to get past the ledge, but doing up being past the ledge is really helping him here. And, and he's got some new tech to show us, clearly. He's making it difficult to kill. And Ooh, he's going to get the slap. Will Smith one two <laughs> punch. Chris Rock looking shook right now. Oh. Never take that disrespect, though. Going to put the buckler to the baddie and get a stock back in response here. Nice use of the... Uh, Wait, when's this Waffs going to come up here soon, yeah? Yeah, it's like 12 seconds. Oh, my Mario. Yeah, he's putting some buttons in. It's, it's unfortunate. That we got a... Oh, there it is. Got a glimpse of the audio. It's going to be a wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. wah. Waffest. Ooh. You guys jump no, we're good. We live in side B. Gonna get me back up to the stage. Just little kicks here. And uh, if I know Juice is gonna hold this walk, he doesn't want to use it on this stock. He likes to hit the game winner, Kobe 360. Off the backboard with it. Gonna go a little bit extra with that side B. And, and Grandmaster also playing a little bit slower than usual, but just a pro at the ledge. Really showing that respect here to Juice. Like we said, somebody that has definitely made sure. Okay, so he's definitely take wins on the people that he is. Yeah, Juice definitely doing this up B onto ledge on purpose. He's not grabbing ledge. He's kind of covering his own landing here. Grabs it that time. Does not re-grab at 134 percent. Easily could have been that attack down tilt. This is right where well, this is Wario's pocket. He's not going to be what he wants out of this one, though. Drill! Oh my gosh, not going to kill either. Drill doesn't kill, and then the covered landing. The flame. Beautiful stuff coming out of Grandmaster right now. Back Still here, no not wrap. Yeah, uh, Back, no cap. Up airs. No stage. Oh. Going to be an advantage thing for an hour here for Grandmaster as he does have the extra credit building up as well. Juice. Juice, though, is, you know, one kill and one combo away from this. That's what you keep the, the one in the chamber for. He's got one locked and loaded, so looking for a dash tag here, but gets the opposite of a sweet spot. Oh, I like that. Trumps the ledge to back air. Such a silly little angle that then. Neutral special. Oh, Grandmaster oh. came up out of, but the jump is caught by the up air. Little JV. Yeah, little JV too, for sure. Juice is definitely doing his thing, but Grandmaster knew what Juice was looking for, and it just took a little bit longer to get that second kill. I love how Juice was moving, though. He's moving with intent. He was actively, you know, pawn to rook. You know, rook, rook to main. Yeah, there were some uh, conversions in there that were absolutely crazy. 60, 70 percent um, racked up and tech chases to boot. So when Juice is on, it is very possible for him to take uh, stocks and possibly even games off of this Palutena. But 
has to play perfectly. Yeah, because the Grandmaster. One, Grandmaster at ledge is, is something to behold for sure. Because he will not let you come back for free. With grab there into a big 60 hit combo. But has to Straight to 69. Has to clean up this neutral though. If you want to see a win here on this uh, knockdown from Grandmaster, he's taking a little bit too much there than he needs to. Yeah, uh, 90%. That is, of course, by the great play of Juice, but 90% is a point. Yeah, I mean, 90 off the rip is not what you want, especially when you have this looming uh, art waft waiting in the, I was going to say the wings, but you know, got those. Yeah, that's going to be with the wings and that up special and snaps her to the ledge. Uh, Grandmaster's starting to do work, but is it too late? Never too late for Grandmasters. You see how hard it is to get back to the ledge. Another thing to be cognizant of is Juice. So good at using the bike to extend his combos. It's an amazing up air from Grandmaster. Oh, but the up oh, is going to it. Great. What does he do here? Goes to the other side, so smart. I thought he was dead indefinitely, but the wrong stage to hit that amazing right. play. Yeah, maybe Callum's, maybe something where you can uh, force a tech situation uh, or throw him underneath like Pokemon Stadium. Yeah, literally, but... Pokemon Stadium probably would have been dead there, but Grandmaster, so big brain. And now it's just trading blows on the side. No bikes, he's gonna have to take a, a death there and go straight for the bike. The bike is here, the bike is being consumed, but not for any HP as Juice was at 0% going to be. Mm, grab. Nice boost grab there to get a bit of an opportunity here against Grandmaster, but he rises with that nair so effectively and catches you with up airs if you are not careful about how you want to get back to the stage. And the waft is engaged due to this beating that Juice has just taken. Yeah, I mean, has the waft engaged? Should he maybe switch it up here and, and go for a waft confirm? Just because everybody kind of knows that he likes to keep the one in the chamber. Grandmaster loving keeping him away from this bike. He cannot bring it out. He cannot eat it. He cannot use it as an item. Grandmaster doesn't care to use it as an item. It finally disappears here, so it can go on cooldown. But it denied so much time for that bike to come into play. And Juice is just having Whoa. to deal with disadvantage much longer than he wants to. But he gets his chance to fight back. And will he get the blows that he needs. He has the waft, has not gotten to get one off this whole game. Yeah, I don't, think, set. I don't think he's gonna use it here. He's gonna do what he normally does. He's gonna try to play it smart here. He doesn't get the dash attack though, and now finds himself back at the ledge, back at disadvantage. So normal when you're facing somebody like Grand Master to be in this situation, how can he respond? Played against the great sometimes. He just gets the best at playing defense, and the defense finally pays off. Yeah, that looked like a, a defensive mood indeed. Put his shoulder down and just handled it here as he has him at 13. Have to imagine that he wants a big combo here, double fight hit. Not really the dream for the Wario to be enraged with all that knockback, but he will have the kill potential with the waft that he needs. Yeah, exactly. With that rage, so great stuff here. Oh, oh. true opportunity, but the DI out is great, and it exposes Juice to yeah. being killed here with only 58%. Well, we saw him credit. do like a nice 60 hit combo at the off the rip of this one. He's gonna have to do another one here if he wants to get this kill and then confirm a kill. But Grandmaster in his aerial 60. bag. He did, yeah, he did a 60 or 90, yeah. So you, you want to see 60 damage combo? Oh, we only got to 49. Yeah, that was pretty good for Grandmaster. That slap off the ledge is what you need. Because automatically, Grandmaster already ready to put you into back onto the ledge. Very aggressive there by Juice. Yeah, he doesn't he necessarily to need to He play. doesn't want to fight on the ledge here. He wants to fight on the ground, absolutely. Just putting himself in a bit of his... Uh, boss condition here, you know, kind of yeah. putting Grandmaster in that favorable spot when oh. more time to chip away at this 117 that Grandmaster has. Time for the waft. Another one. Uh, he does have, like, probably a little half waft. It's coming through. It's about to be any moment now. We'll see the final tip.
kicks of that wall. Come on, Lion. That will be a oh, poor time for Juice, but <gasps> we're living. The I in is living true. better now. Go Juice Sweater now. Oh, baby. That is going to be enough for Grandmaster to see the blast zone. And Juice gets his own kill, denying that ledge for just the perfect amount of time. Yeah, so he has been doing that previous to. A uh, couple of, at, at the first round, he up bees and goes all the way past the top, and that's something that you know you get those extra frames of hitboxes past the ledge, and it helped him there, even though he kind of screwed that one. Definitely dropped the walk. It still goes his way though, and like I said, this was going to be an absolute banger. We got Grandmaster, we got Juice, and we're going to Game Three. And this is the last time for best of threes to happen. After this, we get into semis, because this is the winner's quarter, so going to be best of fives, and you want to take out people that you want to beat twice now, because only going to need an extra game after this point, going to be even harder to take care of some of these zombie monsters. Yeah, dude, zombie monsters coming possible, from the liners. Possible to deal with. Absolutely, and that shoulder is going to be scary as well, so. Juice taking the early aerial damage off of just only getting one kick, and that's kind of what we saw from him in the last one. He did a quick 90, so that is not going to help him in this one. Sometimes the winner of the race is the one that sprints off the finish. Ooh. I want to see yourself going a little bit too ambitious towards someone as respectable as Grandmaster on this Palutena. This character here, I mean, the Robin was a great pick by Grandmaster. He had some amazing wins on it, but this Palutena was what brought him to fame here in the Valley. I just feel like Juice is now in a waiting game. He's got a minute or two to live here before he can get a loft and try to even this one up. He has to live here, and it's so hard against Grandmaster. That shield is doing wonders for him. He is going to be able to get back on stage there. It's a little dash attack for his favors. And his DI is absolutely insane right now. You see him going past the ledge there. That's not going to help him. <laughs> a little bit of damage rack. Ooh, a nice spot, dog. Yeah. It looked like he had that in mind the whole time. Teleports and disappears, reappears, and takes time here to figure out how to approach on Juice. Gets a bite, gets a little bit of a snack here, take a little bit of an intermission. And yeah, the funny thing about Wario is, you know, that was a really hard first death to take there, but you gotta think I'm still in it because I still got one in the chamber loaded up. Here it comes, Waft about to hit. Approximately right now. Nice kick. Soon TM. TM. Now TM. To be determined, but not at the moment. Will this hit? I think he I like spearhead this initiative. Yeah, he needs to spearhead this initiative, Osti, because it really comes down to where do you place your pin? Do you, do you look for a confirm here? Can you even get a confirm on Grandmaster? Yeah, the way he's playing the move is such nice a hard hit by there. there is a back air to call out a jump. Misplaced at the ledge by Grandmaster. And this is like one of the only characters that has. Wait a second. Why are we down here? Back throw. Fighting in the absolute invisibility. Yeah. You know we gotta cast this man. Keep your characters on the screen. Nice little double neutral there. King. Beautiful job by Grandmaster. The eye out of it. And then the snipe as well. Absolutely explosive there. He's gonna need a 60 hit combo to bring himself back. But instead, Grandmaster's gonna hit that for him. Wow, actually gonna get time to get back to the stage, but Grandmaster really pressing the gas now. Ooh, F smash. The timing. Charge and charge again. Going to be no response from the juice for all this pressure for the time being. I don't know if he wants to be on this stage. Probably should have tried to offer a battle or something. Yeah. A little bit better platforms here. Has a hard time getting up to those. Gonna ride dirty. Well, last game right? was Grandmaster's counter pick, so yeah. had his own opportunity to bring us here. Knowing that he had that advantage on this movement. Nice grab, down throw, some bike shenanigans. Bike Johns. Johns. Oh! The Johns? Yeah, the Jody's right now. 
<laughs> well, Jody's underneath you. <laughs> yeah, that's 100 percent right. Austin trying to keep his job here. Grandmaster victory. Like you said, the next are gonna be the three to five. So, O2. Man. That was a great showing from Juice. Oh, really, no, it was one, two. Yeah, really yeah, yeah. great showing there, bringing us to that final moments on game two and sealing it in. And then game three, Grandmaster just really pressing that pedal, keeping the gas engaged, brings us to the express lane in some parts. And uh, it was just great job by Juice to be able to stay in there. But Grandmaster just with that championship mind, with that Grandmaster final yeah. round energy yeah i mean he plays like a chessboard let's see it here let's check out some highlights here he, like i said he absolutely will sit on this ledge i believe these highlights are going to be at this ledge Osti. so get comfortable where, here. where will they be again right here on the ledge here back on the ledge to, back to back on the ledge again beautiful stuff there and uh, that i thought that was the ender but that was the just the beginning the waft doesn't come out and he was getting time and time again up here the only thing i would say to juice because i know he that was that was a beautiful kill and he he continues to try to make that up b past the ledge work and it, and it does there but the only thing i would say to juice there if he's watching the broadcast or if you can hear me is uh you know don't always have all your cards in your sleeve sometimes you got to play those cards yeah, earlier yeah, yeah. you know if he if he may have found a, a waft confirm a little bit earlier i know another one's going to come after that so you know there's certain things to make your bike come back faster and you can eat it and, and get that right, waft right, right. and, and chew on your opponent and stuff like that so you know i know that he goes for the second kill usually the first kill he he doesn't use waft till he needs it at the third right right maybe right if, if everybody knows that maybe try to mix it up yeah and honestly like i mean uh it, one of the best warriors to take example from would be like gluto like will often throw away the waft you know it's not thrown away but goes for it yeah uh, when it's not 100 percent guarantee goes yeah. for it when it's maybe 20 30 percent even do it on the ledge the there when you know grandmaster's pressuring to you to the ledge past the ledge maybe kind of mix it up and go for a little waft at the ledge he's going past it uh he's going past it now so maybe just throw the down b in there after that right right after you have those little bit of frames because if it's grandmaster man he's not letting you on the edge and we saw it there it was a master class in, in grandmaster yeah, Grand, grandmaster class just disgusting on the ledge is uh advantage states are just one of the most oppressive out here in the valley uh even failing the likes of MUD and yeah. Uh, Sonics when when the time can both, come. So both, going both of those players have the uh, the ability to do it. And like I said, Smash Brothers is a um, is an any day kind of thing. You know, there's yep. there's times where I've lost 